Welcome back, everybody, um, which may really just be one of you, but I'm still going to say it that way. Um, so this is Miss Ellis again with Lesson 8 in our series for at-home learning during this COVID quarantine. Um, this begins a next, the next mini unit, which is going to be five books that all go together. So if, you're, if your child is already super familiar with the story of Three Little Pigs, and by super familiar, I mean like they can recite every little bit, all the phrases that repeat all that language, if it's just already just a no-brainer, you can go ahead and skip this one. Um, this is really about building familiarity with those repeated things uh, to help them understand the stories that are coming. So... This is going to be kind of a quick one. Uh, there won't be a lot of work associated with this particular video. It's really about building background knowledge to do the subsequent videos. So your call, whether you watch this or you move on. So we're, we're going to be reading The Three Little Pigs. Now this is the least attractive version that exists, but the story inside is just exactly right on the traditional story to the point where there actually is no author he just credits the British story tales story uh, that's being retold. So join me in reading The Three Little Pigs. But first, as always, I really think it's important to activate prior knowledge. So families, please pause the video here. Have your children or child tell you everything they can remember of The Three Little Pigs. As best you can, have them start from the beginning tell it chronologically and get all those details in place. If you have a bunch of children, you can sort of have them tag team their way through the story and add to each other until you get to the end of the story. It doesn't have to be each person telling the story chronologically. But the idea is as a family unit, you are collectively adding till you have a complete story. So please pause, do that now. And when you come back, I'll move on to the next thing. So hopefully you're coming back now after having had that conversation together. The next step is thinking about, um, actually, it, we've already done it. I'm looking at my notes here, making sure I don't miss anything. So we're going to go right into reading the story. I've got to turn you. There you go. So not a great cover. This is The Three Little Pigs, a British folktale illustrated by Don Madden. So it is such the traditional story that there's not even an author taking credit for the words. So here we go. Here's the traditional story. Once upon a time, right? We know fairy tales like to begin that way. Once upon a time, there were three little pigs. One day, the three little pigs left home. Each little pig wanted to build a house. The first little pig made his house of straw, you guessed it. The second little pig made his house of, that's right, sticks. And what did that third little pig make his house out of? Bricks, you're right. The third little pig made his house of bricks. A big bad wolf saw the little pigs. A little pig will make a good lunch for me, he said. The big bad wolf went to the house of the first little pig. Now, do you remember what he says when he gets to that door? Let's see, maybe you can say it with me on the next page. The wolf called, little pig, little pig, let me come in. And the pig says, not by the hair of my chinny, chin, chin. So the wolf says, then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in, called the wolf. So he huffed and he puffed and he blew the house in. But the first little pig got away. He ran into the woods to hide. 
the big bad wolf went to the house of the second little pig. The wolf called, say it with me. Little pig, little pig, let me come in. Say it with me. Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin, said the second little pig. So now say this part with me too. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in, called the wolf. So he huffed and he puffed and he blew the house in. But the second little pig got away. He ran into the woods to hide. The big bad wolf went to the house of the third little pig. The wolf called, little pig, little pig, let me come in. Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin, said the third little pig. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in, called the wolf. So he huffed and he puffed and he huffed and he puffed, but the wolf couldn't blow the house in. The wolf got on top of the house. He called, little pig, little pig, I'll come down the chimney and eat you up. The third little pig yelled, come on down. Now, can you figure out why he's inviting the wolf to come down? Uh-uh. The third little pig took the cover off the pot of water. The water was very hot. The wolf slid down the chimney. He landed in the water with a big splash. And that was the end of the big bad wolf. So that is it. That's the story that we're going to be using to help us understand the next few books. So feel free to go ahead right to the next video if you're ready, ready to rock. Um, but that's it for today. Let me make sure I didn't miss anything. Oh, I did miss one thing. Um, so I, we're going to be using a structure to help us think about the stories in the next section, which is this, breaking down the stories by their characters, their setting, the materials, the language you hear over and over, and the ending. So I'm gonna show you this at the beginning of the next video too, just to make sure we all start with the same information. So thanks for joining me. See you back at lesson eight or nine. <laughs> Bye.